Happy Friday! Today's plan, I'm really not sure. Uh, I'm gonna try to like get ahead in a couple of my classes and still do like some schoolwork, but my main priority is to read Lock Every Door. I am expecting a book today, so hopefully that comes in. And then tonight I will start listening to The Whisper Man and The Truth. I'm not sure which is longer, so I'm probably gonna look at which one's shorter and then start with that one and see how that goes. I planned on starting Lock Every Door last night, but then I was uploading my part one vlog and it took forever, so I just didn't end up doing it and it's still uploading. But that should be up sometime today. So by the time you guys see this, it'll already be up. I'll link it down below in the description if you missed it and in the cards. Other than that, I don't really have much plans for today. Um, maybe take a couple bookstagram pictures. I still do want to film a video, which I haven't yet, but we'll see. We'll need to see how everything goes and then we'll go from there. But as for now, it's the morning. So of course I need to go feed the dogs and do all that fun stuff. And then hopefully I, hopefully this video uploads soon. It's only on 35%. And then after that is done, then I'll probably spend like an hour or so on homework and like school stuff since none of it is like mandatory. They're all due at the end of next week. So I'll probably just limit myself to an hour. Then we're gonna read. All right, so I did like schoolwork and all of that kind of stuff for about an hour now and I'm not really feeling it no more. So I'm gonna take Lock Every Door and I'm gonna go sit on that couch and we're gonna get through it. I'm not sure how much we'll get through, but that's what we're gonna do. My vlog is still uploading. So at this point, I just hope it's up before noon, but it's at 70% now. Hopefully that gets uploaded soon. All right, so I just got some mail and it's actually another CD. So now I'm only waiting on one more and then I'll post a picture of all of them on my bookstagram and I'm just, I'm so excited. Look at how pretty it is. All right, quick update. So I read the first like few chapters of Lock Every Door and I'm really liking it so far, but my husband and I, we have to go to the grocery store. So I'll do that. And then when I come back, I will continue reading. Um, I am excited to continue reading. I just need to like get off of Tetris on my Switch because that's my biggest distraction. But other than that, you know, we're going great. I should have a book in the mail, so we will see if that happens. I actually um, got book mail yesterday and forgot about it, but I got this one, Trevor Noah, Born a Crime. And I actually uh, got this for my English class because apparently we will be reading this this semester. So that's exciting because I've actually seen very good things about it. But yeah, so this is my book mail and I should have another one in the mail coming soon. All right, so we just got home from grocery shopping and my husband is cooking dinner. So if you hear that, I apologize. But I got book mail and I have two books coming in. So I'm not sure which one this is, but we will see. So I got Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. So I'm guessing the other one probably won't come in in time for me to read it physically during the readathon, but I guess I'm reading back to back Riley Sagers. I'm kind of sad because this is the book of the month edition and I don't have any book of the month and I'm not sure like how it will fit on my shelf, but we'll test it out. But I'm still happy to get it. I've been waiting for it. This one was supposed to come a while ago. All right, today's Saturday. Uh, hopefully we will get a lot of reading done today because today's the mini-a-thon. So hopefully the dogs are eating. So if you hear them, I'm sorry. But I did want to go get boba this morning at the farmer's market, but my husband is still sleeping. So I'm not sure if we'll actually get the chance to do that. But as of now, I'm actually going to continue reading uh, Lock Every Door. I know you guys seen last night that I actually started The Whisper Man and I did the audiobook for that because it's like my book in the dark. So the lights were off and I just listened to the audiobook. Um, so far it's good. I'm curious as to where the story's going. I only got up to chapter five before I started feeling tired, so I stopped. But I'm going to continue that one tonight. Hopefully I would just somehow bust out lock every door today and then that's the plan.
Okay, quick update. We got boba. And now we're home. But my eyes are kind of tired. So I don't want to read anything physically. So, since the only other audiobook I have is The Troop. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Because The Whisper Man is like my in the dark book. So I can't really read that right now because it's still daytime. But I'm going to do The Troop. And I'm kind of nervous based on what I've heard about it. Like... Apparently, it's really gory and stuff, so I'm excited, but I'm nervous to see how bad it is. I mean, not like the book. Apparently, the book is really good, but there's just situations. But yeah, my husband's playing games for a little bit, and then apparently, we're going to watch this movie that is really good, which I forgot the name of, but yeah, so that's the plan. I will probably pop in an audiobook, play Animal Crossing because I haven't logged on today or Tetris because that's my favorite. And then depending on like when the movie ends, I'll probably end up picking up Lock Every Door again. That is still, it's still my goal to finish that book today because the Summerween ends tomorrow. I don't know. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I'm going to finish the troop today. That's for sure because I know it's a shorter audiobook. I'll probably finish The Whisper Man tonight. I'll just end up like staying up later to listen to it or start listening to it earlier. But that's the plan. We're gonna finish books today. Alright, so update, because I haven't done it in a minute, but I've been reading Lock Every Door all day. I attempted to start the troop, but I just wasn't feeling the audiobook at the moment, so I went back to physical book, which is obviously Lock Every Door. And I am now on chapter 41. Everything has been revealed on like what's actually going on, and I'm like real stressed. Like this is stressful. Um, I'm curious to see like what else is gonna happen like after the reveal because i still have like 50 ish pages left so i'm curious but i'm gonna keep reading and yeah locked every door by riley sager and it was really good it wasn't what i expected um i actually put this down for the prompt of like a haunted house i think either a haunted house or paranormal supernatural which this fits in neither so i read this book and it doesn't fit any of the prompts but it's fine we're fine but anyways thoughts on the book i enjoyed it it was not at all what i thought it was gonna be so that kind of like threw me off a little bit but i thought the storyline was really interesting so if you don't know what it's about it's about a girl named jules and she really needs like money so she gets offered a job to stay in this like hotel type of place and they pay her to stay there because like they need to keep the reputation going and like have a certain amount of people live there is what they're saying but um this building has had like a lot of deaths they say and there's just like a lot of rumors going around with it and at first she kind of just like brushes it off like okay until she meets her neighbor ingrid and then the next day her neighbor goes missing so basically she's trying to figure out like where she went and she starts uncovering stuff and it's crazy it's not at all what i expected the ending was not what I thought it was going to be. So it was really good. I could definitely say that this one is a million times better than Final Girls. So that's nice. Um, since it's nighttime now, it's almost 9 o'clock or it might already be 9. 
I am going to just like shower, maybe throw on like a face mask, and then I'm gonna listen to The Whisper Man because that is my book to read in the dark. But I do have like my nightlight thing here, but I can turn that off and then it'll be completely dark except for the TV because my husband's playing games. But yeah, I am interested to see more about that story. But yeah, so that's the update. Um, I finished two books, uh, over a thousand pages, I believe. And yeah, so I have three more on my TBR. I have The Whisper Man, The Troop, and then Home Before Dark. Now, I, now I'm now i not sure if Home Before Dark is a haunted house because that's what I was like originally expecting, but I also thought Lock Every Door was different. So we'll need to see um, if I get to Home Before Dark tomorrow, which genre it actually fits in or like which prompt it can count for. So basically I only finished one prompt, which was a creepy cover because lock every door doesn't fit into anything so anyone who told me that this was either like a haunted house situation or paranormal supernatural thanks for nothing because it's neither oh, i mean shit. oh well whatever it's technically maybe it could be like a haunted house it's not really a haunted house so no but i still really enjoyed it so i don't regret reading it other than that I have three more books on my TBR and I listen to my audiobooks really fast. So I actually might be able to finish The Whisper Man tonight because I'm not tired. We'll see how long I stay up, but tomorrow Sunday. So like, I don't need to get up early. Uh, other than that, I also started The Troop on audiobook, but I only got to like the first chapter. They're very detailed. So <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that one yet. My main priority now is to finish the audiobook of The Whisper Man, and then I will probably, I will physically start Home Before Dark. I think it's about the same like length as Lock Every Door is, and I finished Lock Every Door in like basically a day. So I really like Riley Sager's writing. Since this is his newest, you know, it could be like even better than Lock Every Door. As of now, the plan is to do like my night routine, get ready for bed, and then continue The Whisper Man. I may pop in to do an update like right before I go to sleep, depending on how, how far I get into it. So that's how my night's going. Two books, over a thousand pages, one prompt, but it's fine. <laughs> midnight now and i'm tired so i'm not going to finish the whisper man i'm only like i think a little bit over 50 percent of the way through so i probably won't finish that prompt but tomorrow i have plans to decorate the house and i can listen to the troop while i do that maybe i mean i still could finish the troop and home before dark if I really put my mind to it. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna sleep. I, I don't have it in me to finish The Whisper Man, even if it is getting good. I'll update you guys in the morning for the last day of Summer Wayne. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's Sunday. Today is the last day of Summer Ween. Will I finish any books? I don't know, we'll see. I haven't started Home Before Dark yet, but I'm about like 45% of the way through the troop. It's kind of gross. They're very graphic and very and descriptive, and it's kind of freaking me out listening to it in my ears. But there's that. I didn't finish The Whisper Man last night, which I already said. But yeah, last day of Summerween. I want to decorate for fall. We will see if that actually happens. Um, other than that, I'm chilling. I'll probably just start listening to the troop again, just cause I'm not doing anything anyways. I need to start editing this vlog, so hopefully it can go up tomorrow. And that's the plan. <laughs> It is eight o'clock and I just finished the audiobook 
for the troop. I'm not sure how I feel about it. A lot of people loved it and I don't think I loved it. Maybe like three and a half stars for me. I didn't care that much for it, but I don't know, maybe horror isn't really my genre. So that's why I didn't care that much for it. Since it's eight o'clock, I have 50% left of The Whisper Man, which clearly it's dark now. So maybe I will try to finish that and see how far I can get into that before getting tired. Once I feel like I'm gonna like go to sleep or something, I'll probably wrap up this vlog. It's already fully edited up until this point, which is good. I don't have a lot of editing to do. So tomorrow we'll probably just be uploading it, editing like a few minutes, which will probably be this update. And nope. then my nope. final update in where I end with The Whisper Man. Um, and then it'll be my final book count, the prompts I did, and then my page count count I think is what I would do. I was gonna start Home Before Dark because I have it physically but I figure I should just finish the last 50% of the audiobook I already have and then maybe I will save this for another time. I'm not sure because in September I'm doing Becca's book Oplathon and I'm not sure if this will fit any of my prompts which look out for that because my September reading plans should be out tomorrow afternoon after this vlog is up. So look out for that or on the first, I don't know yet. I'm just, I'm conflicted. But yeah, so that's my update. I finished the troop. It was weird. If you don't know what it's about, it's like about like a troop of boy scouts and they go to an island for like a trip or something. And then like an infection thing breaks out and it's basically all about that. I mean, some of the parts were just gross honestly, like the way that they described it. And I did the I did the audiobook, which means they were just like speaking in my ear. Sometimes when I read, like my eyes just like dart forward, you know? I don't know if you guys do that, but they just dart forward. So like sometimes I skip the nasty parts, but since it was an audiobook, I couldn't really skip it if I didn't know what was coming up. But yeah, so some of it was gross. I might end up leaving it at a 3.5. I'm not too sure, but we'll see. Um, I didn't love it like I was hoping I would, but that's fine. Uh, so for the rest of the night, I will listen to The Whisper Man. It's Monday, I just woke up and I figure I pop in and I'll wrap this vlog all up so it can go up today um first of all my wrap up what did i read this week so i read sleeping beauties by stephen king which i think i'm going to settle at a three and a half stars it was i liked like this like the premise of the story but i feel like some parts kind of got boring like with too much talking if that makes sense i also like that it was a lot of point of views which i thought was really interesting like we were following different stories but it's just it's not my genre so like nothing against it it's just a 3.5 for me i read sleeping beauties for a creepy cover then i finished lock every door which is a four star for me it was super good loved the ending lock every door was good i really enjoyed it it was not at all what i expected i'm still not sure exactly what I was thinking going into it, but yeah, it wasn't what I actually expected for it to be, but that's fine. I still really enjoyed it, loved it. The twist, I'm just like, you know, I had to take a step back when I was reading that. And then that was for the prompt of A Haunted House, which on Gabby's live, she said she considers it a haunted house. So check for that. Then I finished The Troop, and that was for the prompt of uh, recommended by a host, and that was recommended by Gabby. Unfortunately though, I didn't love it as much as Gabby did. I gave it a 3.5. I mean, it was weird, and a lot of the parts did like make my skin crawl, but like, if I'm being honest, I wasn't all that invested in like the characters and the stories, but that's fine. I also think it's different because she read it with her eyes and I listened to it. So that could have made like a big difference on like our enjoyment of the story. And then the last book that we have not talked about yet is The Whisper Man. And I read that for my book in the dark. So basically I listened to it with all like 
lights off. And it was creepy. Um, I think when it involves kids, it's kind of like creepier to me. I gave that one four stars. I was really interested in that. I wish I kind of finished that before I finished the troop. I prioritized the troop because it was shorter, but I enjoyed the Whisper Man more. I mean, it doesn't matter. I finished both of them. But yeah, I finished that one at like close to midnight. So I still finished it, you know, within the time of Summerween. Uh, but yeah, I gave that one four stars. It was really interesting. It's basically like a kid and his dad and weird stuff. And yeah, so I really like that vibe. The only book I did not read this week that was on my TBR was Home Before Dark. But that's fine. I mean, like four books. That's great. Like, I thought that was great. So today I need to edit this vlog and film a few videos, if I'm being honest. <laughs> But tomorrow I will start a new vlog and I'll be weekly vlogging for the month of September, which you guys will see the reason why when I post my reading plans for September. But yeah, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.